game number one between RRQ and Geek. And we can already see here Vin trying to put some pressure on to Chidera in that gold lane, giving Skylar a little bit more space to work around. Vin just being a nuisance already here in the early game. Seems like again here, right? Rotation-wise, it's still okay, but Albert here, he is almost level four. So with this camp cleared, he might be able to go gank the bot side here. It's a 3v2. Let's see. Interesting choice by Finn right now. A lot of damage placed on Tabloy with the models as well. As the shadow kill comes through in the bottom side. That's going to be first blood over to Albert. A boy now rotating down below, dealing some damage on to Finn, who's going to be able to actually put some pressure down once again. Jadera is able to clear the wave out, but it should just be Skyler who bullies him entirely. Oh. Vin going for a solo kill now on a boy. Very aggressive here, Vin, once again, but oh my god, Albert oh still back in. No, oh, man. That's what the assassin was picked for. That's the high and dry at work. Yeah, no response whatsoever, right? I mean, Hayabusa is deadly, and there you go. It was a 3v2 earlier. Takes down Belorski, but he knows, Albert knows that he hasn't, his job wasn't done. He takes another, now he is moving on towards the turtle. Let's see. Black Dragon Form can be popped in right now by Luke, and that's gonna be Janna who secures the retribution, and the wild charge connects onto three! And just like that, it's Geek Slate who turned the tides just a bit. Clay has stolen a wild charge, gonna be poked down and slowed down the barrier as well, forcing the flicker out from Clay. He has the wild charge, now the purple buff gonna be stolen away most likely by the likes of Geek Slate, but Albert has saved that retribution for the purple. All right, now RQ, despite losing that turtle towards Geek Slate, they are still sitting at a slight gold lead. And this was my concern here in the early game. Well, maybe throughout the entirety of the game. Which hero in the hands of Geek Slate has the CC to prevent Albert from snowballing from this early game? Oh, I feel like only the wall charge, right? Very clear also, perhaps to petrify, but yeah. it's not a really a sure thing indeed. But that wall charge with that 1.8 second stun, it can somehow break the momentum of Albert Hyde. Mm, right now, Chidera is going to be able to clear a lot faster, but Albert and Vin come back down here to put more pressure onto him. Remember, Chidera already sitting at a 0 1 0, already punished. Meanwhile, Skyler with two assists. Adana. Wall charge on to Vin. The Petrifying going to be used as well, as that's Adana with the power of nature securing Geek Slate's third kill. Mm -hmm. Good Renner, his apathy over to Skyler right now in the top side. We do see Luke versus Banana here. A boy going to be able to flicker out of range. And RRQ will be able to push the tempo. Clay now looking for some damage with a wild charge. Finds the kill, but he's going to be caught under both Tier 1 and Tier 2. The barrier is going to be placed down, and Clay will be pinched down by the likes oh. of Jana and Beloy. But Clay is able to dash away. I thought he was just waiting there, knowing his fate. But he's actually able to outplay the situation. And RRQ, another pickoff on the board in that mid side, taking Boloyski down. They're now standing at a 1,500 gold lead as they make their way to the next neutral objective, which is that turtle. Well played by Geek Slate, but even better by RRQ as Banana looks for more. Now with a stun onto Janna. That Vengeance is not going to be able to get that reset. The final slash is going to be cancelled away by the power of nature. That's going to be the wild charge and the RWM combo together. Banana going to fall most likely to the passive, but will be able to flicker out to safety. Malloy now caught in the midst of it all. The power of wildness silences him. It's trying to look for the retribution, but it's Albert who picks it up. Now with Finn picking up a double. Luke will be caught all alone. And RRQ finds a 4 for 0. Oh, they wasted a lot of resources on towards Banana, who even, he survived, right? So he didn't even die in that sense. Petrify was used, RWM was used, and after that, I argue, that were, they were cleaning house. Let's see here, Gadera again, pressure, 3v1 bot side, 3v2, rather. Yeah, 5v1 in terms of the talent's prediction. Well Everyone opted for RRQ other than Kabe, who thinks Geek has a chance, but in the top side, Whoa, it's Albert! You thought the shadow kill wasn't enough, he has the quad shadow. Oh my god, again, deadly mechanics there displayed. An RRQ, five minutes and three and a half thousand gold lead here. And it's not looking good here for the side of the geeks. Janna again now pressured in his own jungle. Vin 
very, very annoying here. Collected himself a 3-2-2, and the structure bot side will not fall yet, but Bloy moves in. Beautiful rough waves right there as Clay is forced to use the wild charge defensively. Finn gonna be caught by a bit right now as the utility does connect. Just a little bit of slows, but Ben will be able to win out in this trade. Getting some more damage on to Janna, who's forced back into the mid lane. Aloy, no petrify, uses the breath of the ocean and the oddity to get out as the boy is still in the bottom side, just trying to relieve off some pressure for his gold laner. Aloy with the conceal once again. Skyler gonna be knocked up, but pops he go away in time. Janna has the wild charge, but Banana will be able to disengage. Now it's gonna be the real world and Blation and the petrify combo together. Banana taken down. In the bottom side, River has been, will be chased now. It's gonna be Beloy who's gonna be caught, terrified, and taken out. But Albert finds the Mega. Now, with the Melfic Roar, will be able to dish out more damage to the frontliners. 4,400 gold lead already. Four pickoffs on the board for RRQ as they continue to put the pressure onto the bottom side. Chidera is going to be the next one to fall as a killing spree being picked up here by Clay. And this is the issue. Geek Slate in the long run. They rely heavily onto the damage from Chidera and the fact that he's been shut down two times already. A level below Skylar and I'm pretty sure items behind Skylar as well here in the early game. It's very difficult to see Geek Slate coming back from this, especially with the Hilda pickup who was built for the rush and the pressure to the back line and that being specifically for Chidera. Very, very tough indeed here already. The top and the bottom structure, outer turret has been taken down, which means RRQ will more have more ground. Take a look at the items as well already. On his way towards the BOD perhaps here from side of Fire Busa, knowing that he is already 3,000 almost ahead to be compared to the Grok. So Hunter Strike, Malefic, and BOD is gonna be nasty. Jana though, caught almost there. Again, RQ displaying a very dominant fashion, very dominant gameplay. And they look for the mid here. Will Geek be able to defend this one? Seems like for now they will. Again, from the side of Geek Slate, they're playing rather passively and for, for a reason now, right? They're very behind. It's very tough for them to find the right fights. And props to Albert, right? Finding the right, the right quad shadows, finding the right kills, and this is it. Everything used literally to shut Finn down. It's a shutdown, though, so it is not bad at all for Geek Slate using those resources. It's going to be very interesting again seeing the uh, RQ's rotation here. Finn with the shutdown it doesn't seem like it uh, shake. RQ's momentum maintaining pressure here still 20 seconds on the first Lord and now it seems like still Skylar just free farming up to, at, uh, up to this point. Yeah, no response yet for Geek Slate by Geek Slate onto RQ and things are going to collide as both of these teams want to set up for the next neutral objective which is the first Lord. It's going to be, again, a very, very uh, tough for Geek Slate to contest here. It seems like if they really want to contest, the time is now. Let's see, your top side is at an equilibrium. So again, they might go for a fight here, but they're not sure where the Hayabusa is. But there you go, the concealed play. Will it connect? Good read by RRQ right now. Banana also using the final slash just to try to spot anyone who's in that bush. Fortunately for him, no one was there, and Geek Slate have just burnt out a pretty poor resource. Banana, though, gonna be able to dash in right there, dodging away oh. from the Breath of the Ocean and the Petrify, but will be caught instead. Now it's gonna be Chidera flickering out the safety. Clay gonna be gunned down, and that's the shutdown for Chidera. Right in the back line, it's still gonna be Albert dishing out some damage. Beloy gonna be able to escape right there as Luke finds a kill onto Skylar. Now with the Furious Dive, knocking Vin up. Jana's right there with Power of Nature, and Vin will surely fall. Jana picks up a double. That's gonna be the Shadow Kill entirely used up on Jana. Look oh. at Beloy waiting for a chance to pounce, but it's a massive trade for Geek Slate. Wow, a 4 for one trade as the early game lead that RQ have built. 6,000 gold lead struck by half as Geek Slate, they're going to be able to secure the next neutral objective. But look at this. Albert already clearing in that mid side and the top wave is pushing for RRQ as it seems like RRQ looking for another re-engage. Final splash popped in, but it's gonna be Jana who secures the Lord for Geek Slate. 
Donna with wild charge defensively gets out. Oh wow, what an escape and what a play. Wow, that was a very, very good timing there. And our kill, they lost that earlier fight. Why? Banana came in too early in that previous Lord fight and it got punished, right? Arlet without Banana to 5v4. And after that, RQ suddenly lost four members. Now with this Lord push, Geek Slate, they might be able to neutralize the gold lead that RQ has right now. So let's see here, the manipulation bot side is slowly pushing perhaps two ways now. So the, top, the, bottom, the, the bottom inner turret might be an e juicy target in Geek Slate. They're looking and they're going to go with the Lord here. So again, RQ, Ooh. they lost this fight. Iggy Slate, they're gonna equalize here. RQ needs to be very careful, destroyed. right? Because Tudera also just picked up, picked up the Malefic Roar on top of the BOD that he already built. The damage needs to be respected here as the boy opens up. Oh, the go away is gonna be placed down. He's gonna be able to dash away, but Tudera guns him down. That's the gold laner down for RRQ. Clay has used a lot of the resources now. It's, that's gonna be Albert jumping in with a shadow kill onto a boy. He's still gonna be able to flicker out, but that's gonna be Banana who fights the stun. The reset comes through, and Chadero will fall to the likes of Finn. Now it's gonna be Luke versus the world. Wild Targ knocking him up, and it's gonna be Luke 1v4 with a bunch of five. Why is the four man furious dive? But it's Clay who takes him down. A four for two in the end. In favor of RRQ and Banana redeems himself. That wouldn't have been possible without the flicker final slash that he attempted onto the members of Geek Slate, and they were able to extract the most out of it. Four members taken down here. RRQ already pushing in that mid lane turret. Remember, Jana QT and the rest of the members, they just spawned. They're sure in going to be able to get that objective in the board. Oh, so unfortunate, right? Geek Slate, they were trying to, freak, uh, trying to claim control. But they overstayed in that top side. Again, a very good re-engage by Albert there with that quad shadow looking for a boy. And you're right, it's a good follow-up as well from Banana to just secure that kill and also secure that team fight, which again just breaks the momentum from the side of Geek Slate. Take a look at the player's goal here. Still, top three, it's still two RQ members here being Albert and Skylar. But Kadera, he's not. Uh, far behind here, so he needs to be careful. Oh my god, the insta burst! What was that? Beloy one shot it. That's so much damage. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Is Beloyski building full damage? Yeah, I mean, on a Kadita, of course he will, but yeah, I feel like the burst damage, the physical burst was just evident, right? The Hunter Strike, the penetration item again built by Albert. Malefic War, also BOD, I believe, has been secured, so physical burst damage there. Oh, take a look that side. Good pick off right there. The roamer for the roamer right now. So is gonna be able to respawn. That's Geek Slate with a man's advantage now. Clay stealing away with the wild charge. A boy gonna be caught. Has a flicker to get out. Doesn't have the RWM to play with just now, but it's gonna be Chadero who's gonna be able to cover for his mid laner. RRQ resetting. Geek Slate with a man advantage. They're looking for more control as they clear out the mid lane. It's gonna be again a very, very interesting matchup indeed here as Geek Slate. They managed to respond with Beloyski's death earlier, right? Been insta bursted as well, and now Beloyski oh. with the flicker. Good Whoa. flicker by Banana right there. That's gonna be still Jana who's gonna be melted down right now as Banana jumps in with a wild charge connection. That's gonna be oh. the petrify and everything used. Skyler with nature and the go away. Not gonna be able to survive, but it's gonna be Albert who secures the retribution. Geek Slate have won the team fight, but they have lost the Lord. Switcheroo situation happening here as RRQ. They are going to be able to secure the neutral objective, but lose the team fight a little bit similar. But oh, a lot of resources wasted on to Vin here. As Albert, it seems like he's looking for another end gauge perhaps here. Vin here waiting for the right timing, but with just the... Yeah, they're lacking in manpower to give pressure first out of Geek Slate. So Geek Slate with four members in play, he, they will take care of the Lord there in that mid side. Top side though is still pushing. And of course Geek Slate, they need to somehow exploit this fact. Albert is busy invading the jungles of Janna. So that's also still a win. Let's take a look at the replay here. What really happened in that Lord fight? Let's see, Janna baited most of the resources with that clutch wall charge and the follow-up. He is able to survive for a little bit more time.
but it gives Albert there looking for the right objective, claiming that Lord, finding the compensation. And again, Geek Slate, very, destroyed. very in sync and coordinated fight there. Albert is still touch, un, untouched though. Take a look at the Adams, right? Have to seize also. And take a look at Maloiski. Oh, that's enough damage though. Skyler, Skyler has been taken low. Now it's gonna be the die. The real oh. world manipulation. Take Skyler down. Beautifully placed by a boy, set up by Beloy. 2 for 0 trade for Geek Slate now. And being able to take down Skylar, I would say that is very worth it here. Remember, RRQ had a almost a 3,000 gold lead before that actually happened. And it's been shrunk to a 1,600 gold lead. Geek Slate with more map control as well. They're not pushing the top lane, though. Only the mid and the bottom lane. Let's see what they can do with this. The Renner's Apathy not going to be able to connect right now, but that's going to be Chidera engaged on. Has it with a nature, pops it just defensively here. Albert going to be locked down, and that's Jono with a wild charge. Luke now in the midst of an all jumps in with a petrify to take Albert down for the first time in this game. Luke still able to survive. His play jumps in for some damage, but won't be able to find it. Now with a flicker and a terrify, finds Luke, but that's going to be a boy who gets caught as well. Base turret traded in for two members of Geek Slate. Oh, slight overstay there from side of Geek Slate. Sure, they got Albert. They should have just go out and fall back. What they did was they st stuck around there a little bit, and which Skyler was able to somehow give damage from that backside. Take a look at item here. Wind of Nature also for Skyler. Full items as well here, plus the hot claws. So it gives extra survivability for that goal leader, but oh, and another engage. Bennett's Rage, Wild Charge, Rough Waves. Wow. Three ultimates and Vin survives. Wow, that's a lot. And that's right before the next Lord spawns. That's going to be information for RRQ to utilize in their next co upcoming collision against Geek Slate here as Albert picks up another item. Is that going to be important, Bunny, in the next upcoming fight? Very important, right? Let's see here, Clay, and as well as the boy here, here. You can see both mid laners very, very good in facilitating his team as the anchor. 10 assists and 14 assists for a boy. For Clay, earlier 10, right? So very important role again. And let's see here, in this Lord Dance, it's gonna be very crazy early on. It was, I feel like, RRQ who got the better luck, right? Losing four members, losing three members, but getting the Lord, will it be the same this time? Let's see here. Still, RQ though, with the 2,000 gold lead, will they be able to capitalize on that the partner here as Geek Slate? They're slowly but surely here, trying to play it rather safely. Take a look at the rotation from Kadita here. Perhaps looking for a play. They're looking for a flank, but they are also trying to manipulate those side lanes, right? They want to be able to push that a little bit more to prevent from our RQ from pushing the pedal or pulling the trigger. You can see there in the bottom side, Geek Slate already being able to utilize those waves to push. And it should push naturally because of our RQ's lack of inhibitor turret as well. So our RQ, they have a little bit more homework to deal with before they go in for the setup. You can see here the Melissa goes back to clear that wave. Once that information pops up, Geek Slate, they're definitely going to pull the trigger. Jana has bought the immortality. Now the Wild Charge is going to be able to connect right now. That's going to be the Rammer's Apathy from the back by Chidera. Vin going to be gunned down as Chidera flickers forward. Banana caught by Luke and Geek Slate have found a two for zero. Luke in the midst of it all right now, but that's going to be the backup from Geek Slate to help him out. Beloy with a beautiful read, forcing Albert out with a quad shadow. A free lord conceded over to Geek Slate. The best extraction there for Geek Slate. No members taken down at all. Two members on the side of RR. Q and they also have the Lord on the way. They need to be very careful about this take Ooh. because last time they went in for the siege, they ended up staying and over committing and instead giving the momentum back onto RRQ. Very important to note was once Melissa shows in the map, Geek Slate, they were able to pull the trigger and fight 5v4, causing RRQ to lose two members. Let's see though, with the slow push, are they able to defend? Final slash, but only to get Wild charged up. Banana gonna be able to use the resets right now. But in the back line, you do see Albert jumping into the quad shadow. Luke doing the same thing as Beloy will be slain by Vin. Black Dragon form gonna be popped in, and Vin will be gunned down once again, melted by the late game, Beatrix, Albert with the shadow kill, the base oh, wide can. open, and Geek Slate will be able to come back to secure game number one. GG Geek Slate leading this best of three series. Very, very 
clean performance by Geek. Very subtle, but very lethal indeed.